of a spinning gray. Oh, there it is. Okay, so here's the book that we're going to be reading today. Uh, it's called Larry Gets Lost in Chicago. So let's get all the questions out of the way first. Raise your hand uh, if you guys ever been to Chicago before. Has anyone been to the city of Chicago before? All right, so put your hands down. You might see some familiar locations in this book. So if you do have any questions or comments, so say, for instance, Mr. Mill, Mr. Mill, I want to share that I went there. Just keep it to yourself, and then we'll get to those questions and comments later. So wait until I finish the book, and then hopefully we have time to draw at the very end, okay? So here we go. This book is called Larry Gets Lost in Chicago. Okay, here we go. All right, this is Larry. This is Pete. Okay, cool. So Larry's the dog, Pete's the guy. They rode on a train, each one in his seat. Filled with excitement, they both wore a grin. A new city adventure was about to begin. Mom and Dad led the way from the big, buzzy, busy station to a water taxi waiting at a river location. So here's the metro train that they rode, and then they took a water taxi. Through the heart of the city, a river flowed. The water taxi made it seem like a regular road. Under several bridges, Pete and Larry passed. With no red lights, they traveled quite fast. So you can see they're traveling through the Chicago River over here, through underneath all these bridges here. The family walked for what seemed like a mile. So many shopping bags, so much style. Larry watched a man make hot dogs with all kinds of stuff. With toppings so high, one would one bun be enough? Mustard and relish, one every one. Oh, sorry, on every one. Tomatoes, peppers, and a seeded bun. Celery salt, but no ketchup was the final touch. Larry was sure Pete couldn't eat that much. So it's a Chicago style hot dog. But eat it, he did, and Larry's hunger remained. Larry knew not to beg. That was how he was trained. He tried to forget his tummy frustration as the family arrived at a railway station. Larry led them all up. They climbed stair after stair. In this part of town, trains are up in the air. On the platform, they waited a minute or two when one of those hot dogs came into view. Larry pounced on it, happy to finally eat, but in the, same, but in the time that it took, he had lost his friend Pete. He tried to make a quick reconnection, but the train he jumped on went the other direction. He was soon happy to get out, being packed in so tight, something big was happening at this round building site. Could one of these people in bright blue caps tell him where he could go to find Pete, perhaps? So it looks like they're at Wrigley Field. Pete, Mom, and Dad rode their southbound train past a different stadium with a different name. So it looks like they're at the Sox Stadium. They saw trains that were big and planes that were small, but their search for Larry turned up nothing at all. Pete saw a statue of a guy walking on air. Larry loved to play ball, but the pup wasn't there. Larry stood by a lion who lived in a zoo, thinking, thank goodness there's glass between me and you. He found a lake shoreline and ran on the sand. There were boats in the water and one on the land. He continued his search from way up high, but he could not see his friend from this place, sorry, from his place in the sky. In that very same minute of that very same hour, P was also up high, but in a different tower. So it looks like Larry was in Willis Tower? Also known as the Sears Tower. And it looks like Peter was on the John Hancock Center. Cool. All right. No help from a giant who had nothing to say, nor the strange looking lady who pointed both ways. This statue, if you have seen it before, it's by Picasso. Meanwhile, Larry met a monster named Sue. Saw beautiful paintings, old and new then looked for Pete in huge tanks of deep blue. There were tons of museums he went to. Larry passed a round building, but stayed far away. He heard people saying that that's where the bears play. 
He ran through a park filled with bright, shiny steel, past a crowd listening to music in a field. One sculpture looked like a bean a giant robot might eat. Larry saw his reflection, and beside it oh, was Pete. So it looks familiar to you guys. It's the, it's the giant uh, Chicago bean, also known as Cloud Gate. All right, next one. They jumped and they hugged. He wasn't lost anymore. Then Pete saw something they both could explore. Two giant faces smiled at them, blinking their eyes. Pete and Larry moved close and got a soaking surprise. They passed another fountain as they left this fun place, but this time kept their distance just in case. So went to this fountain too. They boarded a train and did their best to get dry. And to this fabulous city, they said their goodbyes. And that's the end. This is actually my book. I thought it was really cool. So anyways, we're going to be drawing a little bit. Um, let me just turn my camera around real quick. Woo, where's my camera? All right. All right, do you guys like that book? Raise your hand if you guys have been to the Chicago. Am I frozen? Evelyn's raising their hand. Never mind. I thought I was frozen there. All right. Well, right now, what we're going to do is that we're going to be drawing a dog, Larry, on a blank sheet of paper. So you want to get your materials out, something to draw with, and a piece of paper. And we'll do this as quickly as possible. So let me just adjust my settings here so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then we got to do this quick. All right. So here's my piece of paper. Hope you guys are ready. All right. The first step to drawing Larry. Let me see if I can make the camera a little bit less blurry. Give me one sec. All right, there we go. A little less blurry. So I'm gonna draw with a marker so you guys can see. You guys can take a pencil if you want. So we wanna make sure that your paper is vertical, up and down, and we wanna draw a nice big nose in the middle, just like this. Mr. Will? Yeah, what's up? Um, your face first time, it was fizzy. Oh, okay. It's okay. All right, time to follow along. Next step, I want to draw Larry's beady eyes. So I'm going to draw the first eye above the right side of his nose. And it's an oval that looks like this. So we want to draw an eye like that. Okay. Next step, his other eye is not in the other side, but his other eye is going to be on the top middle of the nose. His other eye is going to be on the top middle of the nose, just like that. There you go. I was just fixing both eyes. There you go. So it looks kind of weird, right? But it's okay. All right. The top of his head, I'm going to put it so it's kind of like the roof of a car above both of these eyes, just like this. Okay. So it's a little off track, but it's okay. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go from the left side right here. I'm gonna go around the nose. Once I go around the nose, then I can meet up back with that same line I just did. So it looks like that. You can do any ears you want. Some people do wavy ears, some people do waggy ears. I'm gonna do different ears this time. Maybe ears like this, maybe. Here's my other drawing from last class. So the ears are a little bit different. So you can do any ears you want. I'll put this over here so you guys can see, actually. All right, so next step, I'm gonna draw the collar. And it's right underneath the head. That goes around his neck. That's his blue collar. You don't need to color it right now because we're still drawing. You guys can always color at your own time. All right, next step. Next step. I'm going to kind of draw lines on the side here. I'm going to go out and back down at an angle, just like this. So it kind of looks like a vase, kind of. Looks like a vase, just like that. Yeah, I'll move my drawing up a tad bit so you guys can see what I'm about to do. I want to draw little feet. One foot here and another foot right here. 
just like so. All right, so this part's a little bit more different. Uh, you're going to draw a capital H in the middle right here. So I'm going to show you guys where I put my H. One line up, another line up. I'm going to draw a line to connect those two lines together, just like the letter H. All right, this next part's a little bit more difficult, and it's really hard um, to explain. Uh, teacher? Yeah, what's up? Um, um, can I see the book? I can't see it, and I'm going to color in. Yeah, we're not coloring right now. We're going to wait until we're all done. But I, I can tell you what. You're asking for the book? I'll keep the book right here. All right, okay. my next step is I'm going to draw like a number three on the right side for the back foot. I'm going to do a nice big part right there. And then another curve right there to make a number three, kind of. That's going to be the back foot. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing, but in the opposite direction on the other side. Kind of like that. All right, I am going to cover the book a tad bit so you guys can see my next step a little bit better. My last step is the tail. You can do the tail any way you want. So the tail is over here on this page like that. But on this one, I want to do a different tail. I want to do my tail a little bit shorter like that. There we go. So you can do any tail you want. So these two dogs are different. One has different ears, and one has different tails. And that's it. All right. I am going to, unfortunately, have to get going soon. So I'll keep this up for a tad bit longer, but let you guys know that it's a recorded session. So if you want to rewatch it, you can.